up. Talk. Okay. Hey, hey, talk. An officer punched, knocked to the ground. Tonight, we have the newly released evidence that led to a police shooting. It happened during a melee at a Winter Park wedding reception. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. That suspect later died of his wounds. Now at 11, New Six's Treasure Roberts examines police body camera video and has reaction from the man's family. The newly released body camera video is disturbing. It shows the interaction between Daniel Knight and officers before he was shot at multiple times. Officers approached Knight outside of the Winter Park Event Center, and within about a minute, the exchange escalated. Please, dear Heavenly Father, no! A woman kneels to the ground in shock after a wedding reception took a turn for the worse. I have a very erased, um, drunk death. It started with a 911 call in February alerting officers 39 year old Daniel Knight was harassing guests at the Winter Park Event Center where his niece was celebrating her marriage. The Winter Park Police Department shared this body camera video with News 6 showing a heated exchange between Knight and officers. What's up, man? What's up? Talk to you. Okay. Knight punched one officer who then appears to fall to the ground. The second officer deployed a taser to stop Knight, but was also knocked down. Put your hands on your back now. Put your hands on. Frantic wedding guests tried to intervene. As the second officer lies on the ground, he shoots at Knight multiple times. We stopped the video right before he opened fire. Yes, scrambled outside the center screaming. When the officer got up, one woman repeatedly pushed them. After trying to control the crowd, the officer explained what happened. He punched me in the back of my head, stick my taser. Sir, I'm, not, I'm on my back. Okay? My life is in jeopardy. You all right, bro? In an exchange, the officer said Knight was going to kill them. Yeah, I shot. I, I had to do what I had to do, man. I reached out to the family's attorneys about the video. They sent this statement, reading in part, the only thing the video establishes is that Daniel Knight did not deserve to die. His family continues to mourn his death, and we will fight for justice on their behalf. I also reached out to Knight's sister about the body camera video, but I haven't heard back yet. The FDLE says they will continue investigating the shooting. In Winter Park, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6.